Yo, 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 Robin Nascar Game Squad, or Sonic Family Squad, how are we doing today? Before we start, hit the like, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's take the camera here. Alright, so welcome back to another video, and and this time is about the GE Profile Washer, and as you see, the clothes are washing. And today, um, I have a trick that I just worked, that I found out that you can do. So, as you see, the lid is, is like barely even open, so look. And in case you're wondering what happened, well, yeah, see, look, I, I can actually open the lid and check it out. See, the thing's not there, and I put it in here. And basically what it is, is so see, I bypassed the system. So basically, I did not break it in case you're asking, Oh, Sonic, did you break your washer? Don't shut up! I never freaking broke the freaking washer, baby! So that, so what it is that, so basically, you should try this trick. So say as an example, if you want to like add something while it's in while it's in wash mode, while it's in the current wash status, so you have 43 minutes before the cycle ends. So say as a, as an example, if you forgot to add something before the lid locked, for the lid lock, I mean before it goes to its spin cycle. So what you do is remove this part, but make sure you be very careful, and make sure you poke something like poke it with a hole or use a knife. Yeah, use like a very sharp knife, but be careful. But poke it right there. And yeah, make sure that, and make sure you, yeah, once it's popped out, then twist it, and, and then it'll come out slowly. Then, put it in here, and make sure you, make sure, you, but make sure you don't move it too much though, or else it'll mess up the system. So yeah, it's better to leave it like that. Then after that, then after what you do is just pretend like the lid's closed. Just pretend like it's closed. And after that, boom! That's how you do it. But after that, if you have any further questions about this washer, please let me know in the comments down below. Or say like if you need, need to add more soap, then what you do is that you, you go to your soap that's up there, then you just pour it, then open it up and put it in, and boom, and then other it'll wash your clothes even more. But make sure you don't put too much though. Don't put too much. Don't put too much of it though, or else it'll mess up your washer. Just please, for, for your safety advice, just don't add too much soap, or else you'll re definitely regret it. So that please drop a comment below if this trick works for you. Because say as as an example, if you need to add more clothes into it, then then yeah, you leave that thing in there, then you put it up, you put the lid open, then you add stuff into it, add more clothes, and then when you're done, just close it. Or you need more soap, then you open your dispense jar, open it, slide it open, add more soap, close it, and when you're done, just close it like that. And after that, just let the washer do the rest. But make sure it does not break though, or else, or else you will definitely. Oops, well, I think you can't see it, but. Yeah, or else you will definitely regret it. You'll regret uh, having a wash like this. But make sure you, you treat your washer good with respect and treat it with love, even though even though y'all love your washers out there. But if you have a GE, GE profile washer, this this trick only works if you have a washer like this. But for for other lid lock washers, but just if um but don't try to break your washer. Don't break it regardless. And after that, my pop told me this trick is that if you use whites, it'll basically clean your clothes more. But since I kind of messed up, I just I put it on normal, and now it's I messed it up. So basically, what I'll do is on my next cycle, or I don't know, but but what I'll do, but so here's the trick. So if you put in the lid lock right here, you guys see right here, yeah, just like that. Make sure you make sure you don't move it. Do not move it. Make sure you keep the lid closed all times. Yeah, so see, see how it's currently in motion. Yeah, so basically you can add stuff while it's currently in motion. 
So anyways, if this trick worked, let me know on, yeah, hit the like button, and please leave a comment below if, that, if this trick really helped it, helped you out. And after that, so, basically, and, uh, yeah, never mind that. So make sure, if you're washing clothes, and please, just, just for your safety, and to make sure you don't interrupt your cycle, don't interrupt it, please do not press power. Do not press that power button regardless. Do not press power. While you're washing clothes, I mean, I mean, look, you have to, you have to have, make sure you have, make sure you have power in order to, for, to, to make to make it work. And then, and also for for more for more convenience, make sure to keep your washer plugged in all times. Keep it plugged in. Yeah, keep your washer plugged in, and the, yeah, make sure it's in the standard outlet. Yeah, always check your breaker level. Check your breaker to make sure it supports your washer. And there you go. So let me know what you think in the comments. Well, I'm going to basically wrap up the video now, so if this trick really helped you out, please let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, please comment below if this helped you out, because uh, if you want to see more more hacks, hack tricks from me, if you want to see more more cool hack tricks you can learn from, 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 from me and from this washer, all you got to do is let me know in the comments down below. So, if you want to see me do, um, if you want to see a hack from, like, you know, say, as an example, if you want to see me do white and see if it works, then let me know in the comments. And I'll show you that, um, that, 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 that this hack will, will, will really work. If you do it just right, if you do it just right, then, then your washer will not break. So, make sure you have a sharp knife, but make sure you poke it in that hole right there, put it in the hole. And make sure you turn it, turn it, and after that, it should come out like that. Come out, and insert in here, insert in here. And after that, close it. Just pretend like it's closed. Just pretend like it's closed. And then, put it on whatever cycle you want. Then, yeah, or even better, what you do is when you insert it, when you insert it, it will automatically power on. So basically, you don't have to press power. It will automatically turn itself on for you automatically. Then, select your temperature, your light, and your spin, rinse. Oh, yeah, basically, it's going to go into the rinse cycle. Oh, see? Yeah, there it goes. It's going into the rinse cycle. You also see it. It's basically draining all the freaking water. It's draining it. Well, I guess, basically, that's going to do it for this video. So, anyways, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And, and hit that notification bell. So, and because I'm trying to make sure that you want to see more, more good hacks and, and tips about how to use your washer, then please let me know in the comments. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this video off now. If you, um, if this hack, if this hack worked for you, then comment below. Until for next time, I will see you all for another video. And anyways, I will end this video here. Thank you for watching, have a great day.